Hello friends, welcome to Codeboard. So we all are aware that Java is the most popular language that we have. And there are many jobs available for people who know Java language. Since most of us are interested in how much a Java developer can earn, in this video, we are going to discuss the skill sets that we require to become a Java developer, the roles and responsibilities of the Java developer, and also the salary structure of Java developer. So let's get started with the video. So the first thing that we are going to discuss here is the skill set that is required to become a Java developer. So the first category is educational background. What educational background should you have to become a Java developer? So you at least need to have a bachelor's degree in computer science or computer application. And if you have done a good internship in the same, it is an add on, but it is not mandatory. So educational background wise, it is important to have a bachelor's degree. The second thing is the skill set. So what skills do you need? So first of all, having good communication skills is very important. Again, it is not mandatory, but it is a good to have point because a lot of Java developers are also responsible for communicating with the clients and, and for some documentation parts. So it is important to have good communication skills. Other than that, if we talk about the technical skills, if you are trying to become a Java developer and you are a fresher, then you must have knowledge of object oriented programming. It is important to know what is abstraction, inheritance, encapsulation, etc. It is important to understand how exception handling works and how file handling in Java works and various other concepts that are basics of Java, such as arrays, strings, etc. So, we'll also have a detailed video explaining each skill set that you should go through if you want to become a Java developer. But understand you need to have the fundamental knowledge of OOP concepts and also. Java programming. The other thing that is important is to have knowledge of data structures. You need not know coding in depth. You need not know algorithms in depth, but you should have knowledge of data structure like what is queue, what is list, what is stack, etc. So you must understand those concepts very well. The other important thing is the knowledge of DBMS. So database management system is very important. You should know the basic queries that you need to fetch data from the database or to create tables to insert record etc because database is the integral part of every application so skill sets that we need is fundamental knowledge of oop and java just the basic concepts then the knowledge of data structures and the knowledge of rdbms there are various other technologies such as hibernate spring boot jpa etc involved in application development process but that you can learn with practice when you actually join some job but before joining it is must to know about the concepts that i have mentioned here now let's see what is the role of java developer what a java developer does now once you join a company as a java developer your basic goal is to develop a web-based or mobile-based application now it could include front-end plus back-end development that is you will have to design the ui as well as you have to do the back-end that is server-side coding but that depends on the company most of the companies hire freshers as back-end developers or front-end developers, not both. But if you are joining a startup or some small company, you need to handle both. And it is a good thing to do both the things. Any technology is similar to Java, so it's not very difficult to learn. So even if you are working on Android or let's say Angular, everything is similar to Java. So you need not worry about how to learn those technologies because once you fall into that, you're going to learn it anyway. So as we discussed, the basic goal is to develop web-based or mobile applications could be front-end and back-end. So the first step is to understand the requirement. The requirement can come in the part of stories or just small tasks. No one is going to give you the complete application to develop. Usually the requirement will come in parts of small tasks. Then you have to develop the actual code that is make the changes in the existing code or develop something from scratch that depends on the requirement. And this could be front end and back end. Then you have to write the unit test cases for the server side code. So usually unit test cases are something that are written by the developer. So don't worry if you don't know this. This also you can learn when you actually do it. So you need not know this beforehand. The fourth important thing is to know how to troubleshoot the problem. So suppose you have developed something or someone else has developed something and there comes a bug. You have to understand how to troubleshoot and solve that issue. 
so that is another important role of a java developer and the last important thing is to document the requirement so sometimes you might need to document what you have done so that is why having good communication skills is also important so this was about the skills and the roles of java developer now let's move to the most important part that is salary structure of a java developer so now the salary structure is basically dependent on the various factors such as educational background the skills that you have the college that you belong to whether it is a on campus or off campus placement and the city that you are working in usually in india it won't vary much but can have difference and the last important thing is the type of company whether it is a mnc it is a growing startup or it is a small company which has just started so depending on this factors your salary structure can actually vary and yes the most important factor on which the salary is going to vary is your experience itself so let's start with the fresher what is the average salary of a fresher as a java developer so basically average salary of a fresher ranges from 2 to 4 lakhs per annum this again depends on your college and and whether it is a off campus or on campus placement your city and type of company etc so basically in any city if you are going to take on campus placement you would get average salary of 3.5 lakhs per annum and if it is off campus then it can vary between 2 to 3 lakhs per annum on campus has a greater chance of getting a high package as compared to off campus now this again depends on the company type whether it is a mnc startup or a small company so 3.5 is the average package of mnc companies like cognizant accenture infosys etc but if you're joining a growing startup then you could have a chance of getting a higher package as compared to mncs because startups involve more work and have less employees so they can offer you greater salaries so it can range from maybe 4 to 5 lakhs and also can go up to 7 to 8 lakhs it really depends on your skill set but remember the startup rounds are really tough and you have to be exceptionally good in data structures and algorithms to crack the startup rounds and if you are someone who is joining a small company then for a starting they can offer you something between 1.5 to 2 lakhs as well it depends on the company budget again but for a fresher let's consider the average salary is 3.5 lakhs per annum and there can be a certain ups and downs depending on the various factors that we have seen now once you get a little experience of like 2 years then you can think of switching the company and you can grab a package of around 5.2 lakhs per annum This is what a average two years experienced person gets. Again, if you join a growing startup which is leading in the market, then you can then the graph can be really high. But your work experience should be completely as a Java developer. It should not be something into testing or just troubleshooting the application. You should have hands-on experience as a Java developer. So here, for two years experience, it is five point two lakhs per annum. In another two years, that is by four years, you can grab a package of. 7 to 8 lakhs per annum so this graph is going to increase as your years of experience increase and if you go on joining good companies and if you have add on skill sets that is you are good with both front end and back end you are good with dbms you are excellent with algorithms you can actually grab a package up to 10 to 12 lakhs and that can keep on increasing so as you can see if you start your career as a java developer the career growth is going to be exponential that that is that is it is going to keep on increasing and switching to other technologies is also going to be easier such as switching to just angular or android etc you can work in the technology of your interest but for freshers java is a good option to start with so this was about the skills responsibilities and salary structure of java guys if you have any questions do mention them in the comment section below In the next videos we'll discuss more about Java and the upcoming technology so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video thank you